No doubt you've heard by now that Barack Obama's grandmother from Hawaii died on November 2nd at 11.30 p.m. after a long bout with cancer. And two weeks prior to this, she had fallen and broken her hip. When the news had reached Barack Obama that she was not doing well, he postponed his trip to visit her for three days. She died on the Sunday before Election Day, but Barack Obama stated that she died on Monday as he shed a tear and told his supporters that she had lived through two world wars when in fact she was not born until four years after the end of World War I. And you recall that in his speech given in Pennsylvania in response to the news coming out about his pastor Reverend Wright and all the racial remarks that his pastor had made and after Barack Obama had once again lied to the nation and said that he had never heard remarks like this that he admitted in his speech that he had heard remarks like this on many occasions. He then also at that time took the opportunity to point out that his grandmother who loved him more than anything else in the world and who had sacrificed for him time and time again had also on numerous occasions made racial remarks. And you recall that the next day in a radio interview he referred to her as being a typical white person. Nice way to speak of a grandmother who loved you more than anything else in the world and who had sacrificed for him time and time again. Well on Friday at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific in Honolulu, Hawaii, about 150 friends former co-workers and others paid their respects to Madeline Dunham and they remembered her as being a strong, vibrant, dedicated woman, one of the first female vice presidents of the Bank of Hawaii, one of the largest financial institutions in that state. A former bank chairman, Howard Stephenson, admitted at that service that she had trained most of the real estate professionals in the state of Hawaii during her two plus decades at that bank a 45-minute service to honor Madeleine Dunham. And Barack Obama and his family did not bother to attend. Thanks for listening.